school. Hi there, I'm Christopher. I'm Jacob. And we're back to talk to you about another letter. This time it's letter of the day. You know what we're talking about? L. The letter L. Now, one word that begins with the letter L is lollipop. Can I have a whip? Of the lollipop? Yes. Sure. Don't you dare. Ah! Where'd you find this lollipop? You know. This is the letter G. The what? The letter G. No, it isn't. That letter's much too weird looking to be a G. Well, you must be thinking of a different letter because this is a G. No, 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 that's not a G. Then show me what you think is a G. Okay, let's get rid of the strange tail thingy. <laughs> there, now that's a G. Not to see you, Meatball. Well, isn't G the letter that begins the words like cookie, cat, camel, and carrot? That's the letter C! Oh, then what's a G? G begins in words like grapes, gorilla, giraffe, and gum. Oh, I'm in the wrong room then. So I need to find my way to the letter C lesson. Oh, I thought he would never leave. You will learn more about the letter G today on Safari Mall. We're back to talk to you more about the letter L. That's right, yes. Now, here's another word that begins with the letter L. It's a creature that lives in the sea. We call it... Rough, lobster, yeah. yes. This is a lobster. Nice little fella, isn't he? Ow! Ow! He pinched me on the nose with his claw. Jacob, get this lobster out of here. You, hey, you get back here, you. Hi there. <clears throat> I need to give you something very informative, okay? So, I'm going to show you the difference between near and far, okay? Now, I'd rather not explain it, so I'll just show it, okay? <clears throat> this is near. And I'm all the way back here now. This is far. You got that? Okay, one more time. This is near. This is far. Okay? You understand all that, right? You don't understand it. Okay, okay, okay. This is near. This is far. Okay? This is near. This is far. <clears throat> Alright, now you under understand all that now. Isn't that nice? You still don't understand? Ah, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay, one more time. <clears throat> near. Far. Near. Far. Near. Far. Near. Far. <sighs> near. I'll go far again. Far. Near. Far, near, far, near, far, near, far. Ah, <sighs> you understand all that now? If you do, you do. Okay, good. <sighs> okay, hopefully this goes good. I just got pinched in the nose by a lobster and found a lollipop that talks. This next one will be good. Okay. Yeah. We have something that begins with the letter L that will not do anything bad. All right. Yeah. Um. Let me find it. Oh. Oh. Here it is. This is a lamb. You see the lamb? Lamb is another word that begins with the letter L. Hey, you get back here, lamb. He's getting away. Jacob. Jacob, get me a rope. He's getting away. He's getting away.
My word, look at that bug. That's one bug. Scratch that, there are two bugs. Here comes another, which makes three bugs. That's a strange looking bug. That makes four. Good gravy, that makes five. Where are they coming from? That's six bugs altogether. That's enough bugs for today. Let's count something else. Simple Simon. That's me. Met a pieman. Hello. While going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. May I taste your ware? To Simple Simon said the pieman. Show me first your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. I do not have any. Oh, gee. I wonder what I'm going to do with this last pie then. Where is the car? Where is the car that? Charge! Hey, hey, stop that! <sighs> hey, hey, wait, come back! <laughs> you lost me other customer, now you've done it! This is the part of the show where we do a nature segment. See that there? You know what that is, don't you? That's a moose. Yeah, a moose. Now, mooses are an animal commonly found in Canada. I've seen quite a few myself. You see that moose right there? He's eat, eating plants and stuff out of the bush. Since that's usually the stuff that mooses eat. Yeah. You see, he's got antlers. Almost like reindeer. Almost like San Santa Claus's reindeer, almost. Yeah. Imagine if, imagine if you were a moose. That'd be an interesting experience. Yeah. I remember when uh, I went on a trip to uh, Winnipeg, which is a, another spot in Canada, I saw I saw a few of these mooses. Yeah. They're interesting to look at, that's for sure. Hi there, moose. I don't think you can see me. Yeah. Well, that's a moose for you. We're gonna sing a song about the face, aren't we? Yes, we are, yes. Yep. Okay, so uh, who's singing about what? Let's just uh, make sure. I'll sing about the nose. I'll sing about the eyes. And I sing about the mouth. Okay, here we go. It's a fun song to dance to, isn't it? Right in the middle of the face, right in a very special place, there is a thing that helps me sneeze, I chew and breathe as easy as I please. It helps me smell a pretty rose, and it's called a nose, nose, nose. Yes, it's called a nose, nose, nose. I got a nose, oh yes, it's true, and so do you. What are you going to sing about, Big Red? Uh, how about the eyes? The yeah, eyes, all right, sure. Above the nose, I sure you will agree. I have these things that help me see. It helps me look at you. And you use yours to see me too. It helps the birds and trees and sky. Why are they called then? They're called eyes, eyes, eyes. Yes, I've got you uh, eyes, eyes, eyes. Uh, yes, I've got you eyes. Uh, oh, yes, it's true. And so do you. Your part's coming up, Pie Monster. Okay, so okay. get ready. You're supposed to sing about the mouth. Yes. The thing that you use to eat pie. Yes. Mouth, mouth, mouth. It's called a mouth, mouth, mouth. Yes, it's called a mouth. Oh, yes, it's true. And so do you.
<laughs> well, that's the end of our show. Time to say goodbye. Safari Mall was brought to you today by the letter G, my favorite. And by the letter L. <laughs> and by the number six. And Safari Mall is a production of the Crumpet Puppet Troop. Bye-bye.